Hi friends, this video is about making a Nana forest based on Miyawaki method. Akira Miyawaki is a Japanese botanist who modeled a technique to create small forest which can grow 10 times faster than the natural forest. We modified this method as he wanted to have fruit forest with our preferred fruits and also due to the constraints in time and availability of the materials. The process of making a nano forest involves five steps. One, selecting the trees. Two, preparing the land. Three, planting. Four, mulching. And watering. First step. First step is selecting the trees. As per Miyawaki method, we should choose trees local to the place and of four different categories based on the size. Shrub, subtree, tree, and canopy. Since we wanted to have fruits of different varieties, we didn't restrict ourselves to the local trees. We bought whatever fruit tree saplings available in the local nursery. Some of the saplings are grafted so that we can get the fruits as early as one year. These are the trees we chose. Jackfruit, mango, thick, malai gooseberry, rambutan, malabar blackwood, wax apple, custard apple, curry leaves, mahogany, star fruit, gooseberry, avocado, goa, and jungle flame. Step 2. Preparing the planting area. Most of our plot is covered with coconut trees. So we chose an area where the top is clear from the shade of the coconut trees. In original Miyawaki method, the land has to be digged up to 1 meter and usage of machine is recommended for this. Since our area is very small, around 70 square feet, and no road to bring excavator, we decided to make an elevated area to plant trees. This also helps to avoid water clogging during the monsoon season. We bought PVC sheets to protect our elevated soil. Sheets were stitched together and formed a circle. These sheets are available in the local market and people usually use it to protect their bathroom door from the water. We bought six sheets of length six feet each. These were stitched together using copper wire. If you are using steel wire, it may get rusted after some time. After placing it in the circular form, we started filling it with the filling material. So Miyawaki method suggests three materials to be used to mix with the soil. One is perforator materials, second is water retainer, third is organic fertilizer. Perforator materials, this helps to improve the perforation and allow roots to grow quickly. Materials like rice husk, corn husk can be used for this. But this was not available in our local market, so we used leaves instead. This can also act as a fertilizer. Second is water retainer. It helps soil to retain more moisture and water as compared to its natural water retention capacity. Natural materials such as cocoa peat or dry sugar cane stack can be used. We use cocoa peat, also coconut husk directly as we ran out of cocoa peat. Organic fertilizers. Organic fertilizers are required for nourishment. Different materials can be used depending on the region and availability, such as cow manure, goat manure, or vermicompost. We use cow manure for this. We filled around one and a half feet high. Enforce the PVC sheet using sticks and plastic thread. The third step is planting. We called our family members and children from neighborhood to plant trees. Kids really enjoy planting trees. Everyone planted at least one tree sapling. Later, the tall saplings were given support using stick to prevent it falling due to wind and rain. The fourth step is mulching. Mulch insulates and protects the soil. It prevents sunlight from falling directly on the soil. Direct sunlight will make the soil dry and make conditions difficult for the young saplings. We use leaves for mulching, which were available in our plot. Then the blue colored plastic sheet, the PVC sheet was looking odd in the plot. Also, it, we found that it is getting broken easily if it is hit by something. So we covered most of the outer portion using the coconut tree leaves. Also use soil to cover the bottom part of the PVC sheet, so it is well protected now. The fifth and last step is watering. So this needs regular watering for first two to three years. So after that, the forest will be self-sufficient. Presently, we are using a hose connected to nearby tap. Maybe we should install a drip irrigation system for the summer, as it can save a lot of water.
water is important part as it helps the plants to grow fast. In the description below, I have added some useful information, also some relevant links. If you like the video, please like, share and comment. Thank you for watching.